of details here that I usually uh, review here quickly is just, do we have any allergies? No, sir. Any pain today? No, sir. Okay. Any, do we use tobacco? No, sir. Consume alcohol? No, sir. Right. Any changes to medication since the last time? No, sir. All right. And we fasted for the two hours, no food or drink, no caffeine or nicotine included? Correct. And then water is fine, prescription meds are always fine, no exercise in the last two hours? Correct. Great. And then we have our Spanex as well? Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. Let's, let's take a seat first. We'll okay. do the blood pressure. Okay. Do that first. Twenty two over sixty four was at fifty six. Step out of there. Uh, well, like five, three and a half. <laughs> I'll take that half. <laughs> so you're probably right in between five, three and a quarter and a half, but maybe five, three and a half. All right. right. Conference and then a weight. Okay. Step in front of the scale first here. Oh, uh, don't mind placing the opposite way. Okay. I usually do it just from behind here. Step on the scale when you're ready. Stay nice and still while you're up there. Go 
open this stuff off. Here, breathing normal, staying kind of still throughout the test. Okay. okay. You do need socks off though. Okay. Okay, in there? Mm -hmm. All right, next one we got one or two more, okay? Okay. I was gonna say that was fast. Yeah, it's real quick. <laughs> I don't know necessarily how relevant the numbers are if we compare to 2019 necessarily here, right? So um, where you were in that process there, the last one we had obviously was um, 2019, right? Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about that specifically before we get into the numbers. Like where were we in the process there? Which one? Oh, this 2019 here? Yeah. I think I was actually getting ready for a show or coming off of a competition. Okay. So I kind of wanted to see where I'm at. Similar, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And like right now, I, have, I, I think that was probably the last time I actually competed. And then okay. currently, i just been doing mainly a lot of body weight exercises. My whole training style has changed. Okay. Uh, I also had fractured a hand okay. last year. So 
literally, you know, no no heavy lifting, a lot of Tabata style hit workouts. Gotcha. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I just kind of want to compare. I see I was at. I kind of been dying a little bit right now, and just mm -hmm. wanted to come in and just kind of see where I was at. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I just. Uh, especially when you do shows, it can be vastly different if we compare numbers from like previous when maybe you're at a different part of the process till right. now. So yeah, so if we look at our body fat percentage there, well, first off, weight was 147.2. Okay. Body fat was right at 13%. So okay. I don't know how much you remember the previous categories there, but healthy range for body fat is between five and 20%. Okay. Five to eight is considered the ultra lean uh, 8 to 12 is considered the lean category, 12 to 20 is considered moderately lean. So, okay. so yeah, we're well within the, the healthy range there, okay. again, depending on where the, the goal is there right. um, for the competition. It, okay. it may vary from that from right. now till then. So, so that's so where you're at. Uh, yeah, my waist came down, so that's good. Yeah, yeah waist went from 31 to 29 and a half. Um, and certainly, if we're taking that percentage based on the weight, and about 19.1 pounds for fat mass, 128 uh, pounds for fat-free mass, which remember fat-free mass is everything that's not fat mass, right. uh, muscle mass, water within the muscle mass, bones, ligaments, and other connective tissue and whatnot. Right. Okay. Great, so, yeah, that's, that's what questions? I came for. No, I'm, I'm, right. I'm happy where I'm at, so I, I got a little ways to go. I might be dieting for a little bit longer just to kind of see where mm -hmm. I was at. But. Yeah, and one of the things, I, I don't know if you have a, a protein target or not, but certainly, yeah, usually I tell people, if you're trying to really get to those low body fat percentages, usually, yeah, keeping the protein intake up okay. is usually helpful as long as you don't have anything contrary to, say, like, conditions that uh, kind of limit you from going higher in your protein right. intake, obviously. Okay. So, yeah, I usually use that as a better not bare minimum, but like kind of a happy medium. So it would be at least 128 grams daily, probably for what you're trying to accomplish, it might even be a little bit higher than that to optimize. Um, but yeah, you can kind of mess around with it too. Right, like right. there's no exact person to person variance there, but yeah, certainly a lot of the research I've seen shows kind of one gram per pound of fat free mass is a good middle ground there, not necessarily our top, top uh, tier there, not uh, anywhere close to our bottom tier, obviously, so. Great. Around with it. Okay. Okay. I appreciate it. Any other final questions for me? No, that'll do it. Thanks great. again. I yeah, appreciate it. Was it was great yeah. talking with you, and uh, yeah, we love seeing people come back in and see us again. So yep, you definitely be seeing me. I'll definitely probably come back. Great. What what entails with the uh, the metabolic, and then the, I, I think it's a fitness test too. Yeah. So metabolic is going to give you a uh, resting metabolic rate measured value via what we call indirect calorimetry, and the idea there is. By getting that measured value, that's going to be more accurate than if you're using an estimation. Um, we'll also talk lifestyle and exercise, and that gives you kind of the, the overall idea of where your current energy uh, expenditure is at. So when we have that number, then we can manipulate it to your advantage to see where we should go based on whatever goal you have with weight management. And what is there. how is that conducted? Like hooked up to a machine? Or? Yeah, it looks like a little space helmet. So okay. the idea is that space helmet uh, has some material around it there that we can kind of tuck in uh, underneath it and it just consolidates your breathing area. With that, then you know, we're getting kind of a, an average breathing rate for 15 minutes and that is how we conduct that and get our measured value. Okay. Uh, and then for, the fitness test? Yeah, for fitness test, it's gonna be a, a similar idea where yeah, it's measuring your breathing rate and your oxygen consumption as uh, you do a graded, for most people we're gonna be doing a treadmill test Okay. Um, whether it's a walking or a running, usually is dictated by what your current exercise regimen is there. For most okay. people, yeah, it's probably a walking protocol, unless you're an avid runner that's competing or something okay. that has a really low minute per mile time. Um, but yeah, that's the first portion there that gets you a submax VO2 test. Um, it's going to show you where your cardiovascular fitness level is, grip strength, back strength with uh, dynamometers, which is a fancy way of saying. Uh, a measurement tool for how how much force you can produce okay and then flexibility is a kind of classic sit and reach um testing out your hamstrings right. hips and, and low back flexibility there okay. and that gives you a nice round set of numbers um, okay. that you can compare to any time from here on after you get those great, great. make sense yes sir great thank you yeah, yeah, i'm course. gonna definitely schedule those so i appreciate yeah, it yeah yeah absolutely we would love to have you back for okay, okay. thank you all right, all right.